Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. And as you can tell from the thumbnail, today I'm gonna to be talking about three amazing fragrances from the Dua brand or Dua Fragrances. Now, a lot of you have been coming in my DMs on Instagram, or coming in my comment section on YouTube and telling me I really need to try this house. As you know, on my channel, I talk about all things fragrances here. I talk about niche fragrances, indie house fragrances. I talk about the cheapies, the designers, luxury fragrances, and I love, love, love the clone houses. Now, I know that's a strong topic. A lot of you do not like the clone houses, and I get it, but I'm here for it because I try to make my dollar stretch, and sometimes I like to smell like a high-end niche fragrance for half the price or three-quarters of the price if I can, and Dua is on the case, and I'm so excited to try these three, these three fragrances. I'm going to be trying Dark Chocolate Rum and Vanilla, and I'm going to be trying Midnight with the Mobster, and I'm going to be trying Collateral Damage. Let's go ahead and kick things off. Now, when you first get the Dua packaging, it comes like this in a box, just like this. And I will say my only complaint, and I'm nitpicking here, my only complaint so far with Dua is they all come in a stock box like this. And I guess the reason why I'm nitpicking is I would love to see, you know, maybe the name up here or down here telling you what the fragrance is. Um, now, obviously, you can find that out when you open up the box. But anyways, here's the box, what it looks like, Dua brand. All these are handcrafted in California, Los Angeles. And they are all, just in case you wanted to know, extra de parfum, which means these should all give you some sort of longevity with that kind of concentration. On the back, you've got some ingredients, and every single box has the same stock ingredients. So I thought that was a little different. But anyways, it just looks like a tiny book. And then you open it up, and what? Wait, what? Oh, just kidding. But anyways, the fragrance is nestled inside here. And then you have you know, some pertinent information about the brand and the company and what they stand for. But let's go ahead and dive in. And the, like I said, the first fragrance I want to spray is called Dark Chocolate Rum and Vanilla. And here is the presentation. Hopefully you guys can see that it's a bit reflective. All right, there's the name on the side. All right, and then the juice, this is the color of the juice. The cap just kind of looks like you know, if, you know, like a faux cork cap, and it says the Dua brand on the top. All right, so let's go ahead and spray this on my wrist, and I'll give you my impressions of this fragrance. Good atomizer, by the way, which is very important to me. All right, so first impressions. I love, love, love gourmand fragrances, and I love boozy fragrances. You know that from watching this channel. If you're brand new to the channel, Thank you so much for being here. But I love gourmand fragrances. I love really, really sweet fragrances. And they work this time of year. They really work in the fall and they work in the winter. They project and cut through the cold air. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this fragrance is going to slice, cut through that coldness like a hot knife through butter. And my first impression of this fragrance is, it smells like the most delicious, just moist, chocolatey cake that you can ever smell with a little bit of light rum drizzled over the top. That's what I'm picking up. And right out of the gate, it's a little bit a little bit too sweet for my liking. Now I do love sweet fragrances, but it's just a little bit too strong. But I think once this settles down, this is gonna be absolutely beautiful. Again, it's got that gorgeous chocolatey cake-like vibe, and it's like a bitter chocolate as well, but I, I really like it. And, uh, yeah, what's not to like about this fragrance? Now, I can see wearing this fragrance, you know, at nighttime, on a date, you know, in a fun, playful setting. This is very flirtatious, very sensual, and I am here for this fragrance. Really, really good, guys. And for 60 bucks, you can't beat it. And I don't know if I said this one, but this fragrance right here is an inspiration from Guerlain's Gourmand Coquin. And uh, I don't think you can get that one anymore. So that's another good reason, not just for the price, like this is 60 bucks, but not just for the price, but sometimes there's amazing fragrances, like some designer fragrances that are really good, or some like uh, niche fragrances that are just discontinued, you can't get them anymore. And that's where a good clone house really comes in handy. And man, this one is so good. Like one of my favorite houses is Sensual Obsessions. And it's so hard to find that Andy Warhol fragrance. And if you do find it, it's like 600 bucks. And so you can just go over to Central Obsessions and get Andy Warhol and just pay a really good price. Now, obviously I'm talking about the Dua brand. And by the way, if you check the description down below, I have a link for Dua right there. Check them out. You can check out all their original offerings because they do have a lot of original offerings. 
and they also have the inspirations just like this. But this one is really good. Now let me put the ingredients on the screen and you've got dark chocolate, cacao, rum, and vanilla. You have some spices, pepper, and rose. Now I will say smelling this fragrance, I really don't pick up on the rose at all. I do pick up on the spices, the pepper notes as well, but really this is just a linear, sweet, gourmand, chocolatey cake, vanilla rum like five, and I love it. It's so good. And this is definitely gonna be a great fragrance for the cold weather, a perfect fragrance for Valentine's, if you will. Just a really nice gourmandish fragrance. The scent trail in the room is intoxicating. It's got a huge scent bubble, so people are definitely gonna notice this on your skin. All right, next fragrance I wanna talk about is this bad boy right here. This Midnight with the Mobster. And just to get it out of the way, this is an inspiration of Roja Parfums Creation E, and I have never gotten my nose on that fragrance. It has always made my wish list, so I'm so glad that I got this fragrance because maybe it'll give me an idea of what that fragrance smells like. And then one day when I finally order it, I'll be able to compare the two. But uh, what's some of your favorite inspirations from this brand? Because a lot of you fill up my inbox telling me about this brand. I'd love to know what some of your favorites are. Leave a comment down below and tell me what some of your favorite Duo fragrances are or your top 10 must-haves. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and spray this on my wrist and I'll give you my impressions. Again, love the atomizer. Very, very bright, very, very effervescent. And it has a very boozy cola vibe going on. It's either like a cherry cola or maybe like vanilla cola. And it's just got that boozy quality going on that I really, really like. Man, man, is that very similar to like a cherry cola. It's nice. It's really, really nice. And you guys know here on this channel, I love sweet fragrances. And uh, I really, really like this one. Really, really tell that this is vibrant right out of the top, coming from some kind of citrus. A little bit spicy as well. All right, I'm a big fan of this one as well. Let's go ahead and read the ingredients. I'll put the ingredients for this one right here on the screen. Again, this is an inspiration of Creation E, and this one is called Midnight with the Mobster. Let's go ahead and read the ingredients. All right, so we've got bergamot on the top, okay, and neroli, jasmine, ginger, black pepper, patchouli, benzoin, tobacco, cognac, and vanilla. I was definitely picking up like some kind of vanilla Coke or cherry Coke vibe. Uh, it must be coming from the vanilla. There's cognac in here, which I absolutely love. This fragrance is so good. And there's that spiciness. And I think I'm picking that up from the ginger. It's just got a very nice vibrant vibe. And that's probably coming from the citruses on the top. But all in all, you know, as this fragrance starts to settle down, I really do love that kind of cherry or vanilla cola vibe that this has going on. The scent bubble is, is not as big as the dark chocolate uh, rum and vanilla, but it's definitely there. I would say it's about an arm's length, and I feel like this is another fun and flirty fragrance to wear at night. It works really, really well in the wintertime, a nice casual fragrance, and this one's definitely a great one for this time of year, and I'm a, I'm a fan of it. I like this one. I'm gonna have to give it some more wearings to see how long it lasts and see how it does on my skin. All right, last but not least, we're gonna talk about this one right here. This one is called Collateral Damage. All right, and this one is an inspiration of Initio Side Effect, and I have uh, smelled that fragrance quite a few times. I've smelled it in some stores, and I used to have a small decant of it, so let's go ahead and spray it. And this is the color of the juice. All right. Ooh. Okay, so far this one is my favorite. I definitely smell that tobacco, but it's a sweet tobacco. I like that a lot. It's also a dry tobacco in my opinion. Oh, and this definitely reminds me of something I smelled before. This has got a very similar to Jazz Club because I just recently bought that fragrance and it, it definitely has that boozy quality that Jazz Club has. Very, very similar. I like this one. I like this one a lot. This one smells like a grown-up fragrance. Um, this is a, this, I would say this is a gourmand fragrance. But this, this one's a little bit more grown up, a little bit more mature, maybe not as youthful as the other two or as playful. Uh, this one I could definitely see wearing in some occasions where you really want to invoke some confidence. But let's go ahead and put the notes on the screen. Okay, so you have tobacco, vanilla, rum, and cinnamon bark. So not a lot of ingredients mentioned here. 
But again, man, this fragrance is really, really good. That tobacco is really sweet. It's almost like a honey tobacco and a dry vanilla. And again, this is really spicy and sweet coming from the cinnamon bark. But uh, I really get a nice boozy quality, kind of like you would detect in Jazz Club. You know, I really like that fragrance. It's, you know, it's a hidden gem in my opinion. I love it a lot. So, guys, so far I'm here for, for Duo. And they're doing a really nice job with their fragrances. I'm a big fan. All three of these fragrances that I have, I'm so glad I got them. And uh, keep up the good work, Duo Fragrances. So I'm going to give these a thumbs up, all right? Give a thumbs up. And uh, what do you guys think? I know a lot of you don't like the clone houses. Some of you do. Have you ever tried this brand? I had to get a hold of this brand because a lot of you have been coming in my comment section telling me I needed to. And you were right. The people at home are always right. So thank you so much for suggesting this company to me. And I'm so glad that I reached out to them and uh, got these fragrances. So really, really cool. If you guys got any value whatsoever from this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you would like to be a part of my fragrance family, which I would love to have you, just hit that subscribe button down below and hit those bell notifications off the side. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. I hope wherever you are, you're finding peace and happiness. Scott Aromatico, over and out.